is this like cool enough? Am I cool? I don't, I don't actually know them, but there's people staring at me through the window, which is making me feel slightly uncomfortable. Three, two, one, go! Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today I'm wearing some questionable clothing, but it's very comfortable actually. I don't think it would be this cosy. It's very soft as well. But I'm here for the, is it dog tooth or something? I can't remember what it's called, but yes. Why do I go into accents? Today we are doing a video on living by yourself because that is what I do currently. Probably shouldn't like expose myself a bit. <laughs> right, yeah, so today we are doing a living by yourself sort of tips and things I've learnt. Now when I first started living by myself it was, I hated it, like the first month was awful but that was also because I went through a breakup in that first month so <laughs> that was not great with the mix of living by yourself and I have for anyone that knows me I have never moved out I've lived with my parents I stayed at home for university I yeah I have never been by myself and I I have quite bad anxiety on occasion um, and if you didn't know about that then you know about me but yeah, so moving out by myself for the first time moving out might not have been the best idea, but now I think about it, it was it was such a good decision. Like now I'm so happy I've done it, but at the time I was like, ah, I'm turning screaming. I have sort of come up with ten like tips and things that might help you if you are living by yourself, um, and things I've sort of learnt along the way because I have lived by myself now six seven months i mean i'm really really happy here the only reason why i am moving out um if you didn't already know is because i think i mentioned it at the start but it's because of money and i just i'm not saving as much for yourself it's really difficult to save by yourself it almost cancelled tax rent food <laughs> crap i've written down some stuff because I always find it helps when I write things down and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. The first thing I wanna say is when you live by yourself, it's really important <laughs> that you like have decent locks, decent security, that sort of stuff. So I live in a block of flats. You have to have like a key to enter the building. There's a key on your door, there's a, what's they called? chain thing as well like it's very secure there's cameras everywhere like I feel quite safe in my flat but like say you're in like a house flat thing or your own house or like wherever you are just make sure your security and your locks are really good because that helps 100% and it's like a, a little ritual I go around like checking all the locks checking all the windows like I mean, I'm quite high up in the block of flats, but I'm the highest level, so no one can really come into my flat unless it's from the door, unless they climb up the whole flat building. But I don't think they would do that. So it's really important that you have sort of good security and locks. More for your safety and then your peace of mind as well, so like it helps you sleep. Then, like two is enjoy it while you can. Like, yes, it might feel really, really lonely. And that is how I felt to start with. And it's okay to feel like that completely okay but enjoy it like make the most of the fact that you are living by yourself like take the chance to decorate it how you want i've done this because i wanted to like my living room is filled with plants at the moment because i'm really feeling plant vibes although i did kill quite a few plants recently it's just literally like make it your own you can express yourself take advantage of that because that like if you're living with your parents it's difficult to like everything like my mum will preach this <laughs> she knows that I like I'm quite like everyone has different tastes and my taste with my family is very different like my taste compared to my mum's or my sister's or my dad's is very different it's nice to be able to have like a space where you can do it and yes you can like express yourself in your own bedroom but when you have the whole place to yourself you can do it in every room is great. And the third one sort of coincides with that, it's sort of self-reliance and independence. Now I think it is a massive thing and a lot of people won't move out by themselves because they don't want to feel lonely and they are not that they're dependent on others but like you do have to make a lot more effort but if you want to see people you're the ones that are responsible for putting the bins out, you're washing. Like it sounds as if you're, you would do it all when you're living with other people 
but you don't have the help of other people so like taking out the bins you have to do completely by yourself like cleaning out the flat you just by yourself you can't have anyone else like oh i'll hoover i'll clean the like floors or whatever like i don't know what i'm talking about so you you have to do it all which is fine and i love that because it gives me that independence and that independent to myself i don't rely on anyone and it does definitely help and it makes you feel a bit more like i'm 100 percent more confident in myself now i'm still not like really confident but i definitely have developed as a person by living by myself and it's been really really helpful like it's definitely helped me to sort of become more adult which is a thing i've got to do apparently because i'm growing up now i'm aging that thing and another point that i've sort of said that goes with it slightly is like cooking but that was going to be another point but it's fine we can move it up and we can talk about that now i still find it really difficult because when i've been at home i've been so used to cooking for four or cooking for three not cooking for one and that's what I've been used to like my entire life and it's really difficult to make portion sizes for one and I think also I definitely in the start did not cook like I would make chicken nuggets and smiley faces and all that crap rather than actually cook a decent meal and um, this is not a video saying you must live by yourself <laughs> stay at home <laughs> for everyone that like lives by themselves during lockdown it's really difficult and I'm really glad that Boris brought in the bubble thing so I can actually go and see someone because <laughs> other than work I don't see anyone <laughs> apart from my parents now obviously with the bubble but yeah then moving on to the I think this is now the fifth point because I sort of brought cooking up do not isolate yourself this is to do with loneliness at the moment I know it's really difficult because obviously we're in a lockdown it's really difficult to see the light at the end of the tunnel if you are living by yourself you need to reach out to people and that is something I learned really hard way the first month or so, I was by myself here, felt like I had no one, that no one wanted to speak to me, that no one wanted to see me. And this was in that was August and like, so we weren't in a lockdown, we, you could see people, you could have like a group of six or something. I could have gone and seen people. I did, but I didn't do it as much as I should have and I didn't push myself. So a lot of the time when I was just sitting around the flat, I was like, oh my. Christ, I'm so lonely, like, this is gonna be awful. Like, how do I, how am I gonna cope with this for six months? It sounds awful, but it was self-inflicted. And you have to learn to reach out to people. And at the moment, the only way we're sort of able to reach out to people is if you go on a walk with one person, or you can, you have to use, like, I've got quite good internet because I wanted to make sure that I could call people or FaceTime people. So often in the evenings, I will FaceTime Liv, my sister, my parents. Use your initiative and like push yourself to go and meet other people. This sort of ties in with not isolating yourself. And that is to like learn who your neighbors are and speak to your neighbors. I mean, it's really difficult in lockdown because you can't like go in and see your neighbors, but I have definitely made a couple of friends. We'll message occasionally like, it's good to be like a friendly neighbour and yeah it's just like nice to have a bit of like friends around the area you will catch them in the door or like you'll see them in the corridor and just say hi um, and it's nice to like have know that you've got a friendly face around the corner if something goes wrong and you can talk to them the legs have gone now. number seven is you have to find reasons to go out like make sure you go out at least once a day if you can if you're at home like if you're being furloughed or you're working from home try and get out on like a daily walk or something um i will often go on a little drive to my parents or go to the shops or go out for a little walk with a friend yeah i think you need to try and push yourself to make sure you do something each day rather than the issue i had at the beginning was i sat in my flat a lot was like make sure you go out and do something because it's so, oh, it's so important it's literally so important um, and i cannot preach it enough number eight sort of coincides with that a little bit um that's to have plans have goals um have a bit of structure in your life in your day-to-day -day life so like if you're working like when i work obviously i do long shifts so i will plan out my week usually on my board and i'll write when i'm doing shifts and what i'm going to do on my days off because when i'm on shift i literally wake up go to work come home go to sleep i will not usually plan to do anything else because it's like 12 and a half hour shifts they're long days it's not like you don't want to come home and be like oh yeah 
I'm gonna go for a walk in the dark. Like I'll link the video I've done to the first like 2021 goals. Um, so like you can use your time like to work on your goals and things. Don't just sit in your flat watching Netflix like I do. Then number nine is sort of do things that you love. It sort of links back a little bit to your decorating your flat. Like have little hobbies that you wanna do. Like I really wanted to have like some sort of centerpiece here. You can just see the light. Just do things that you really like. Like I do YouTube. Make sure you keep busy in that sort of sense. When you're keeping busy as well, it stops you from having that sort of minute of loneliness and being like, ah uh, crap this is really bad like i have nothing to do number 10 is i will make sure you look after yourself and if you are having trouble talk to someone and i'm gonna put links to some really good websites or some really good phone lines that you can ring i mean you don't have to live by yourself to call these these are just things you can do or there's also online counseling and online therapy i really considered them i didn't get as far as I needed to because I tried to pull myself out of that before I needed to but it, I was, it was really tough, it was really hard. I don't really like talking about how it made me feel but like I was very very low. Yeah I didn't really talk to anyone about it until it was almost too late but I didn't, I did eventually talk to people about it but this is why I'm making this video so no one gets to a point where they, it is too late. I hope you enjoyed this little video um, and it's helpful to some of you that might be struggling at the moment or if you just want to if you're considering moving out by yourself compared to with other people i hope it sort of helped a little bit in making your mind up about that if there if you want more sort of videos like this let me know comment down below if you've got any tips and you live by yourself also comment them down below let's like sort of make a little helpful area for people if they want to find out what it's like but yeah i will see you in next week's video bye